Silver Tongue. Now, Silver Tongue was interesting in that that initial riff was in something totally different. I was working on a song, I had a bridge section, and that riff, for whatever reason, just seemed to eclipse the rest of the song. And I so I thought, well, generally, when that happens, you have to just discard everything else and focus in on that particular musical moment, which I did. And I also had, as I was listening to it, listening back, I heard the da 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 thought okay well, that sounds like a like a decent chorus so I knew at that point um, it was two of the crucial elements were taken care of you know the riff and a, and a, and a good chorus melody so went in the studio my, my, my demo studio and put the rest of it together and kind of like this is war built a shell which was intro verse riff chorus just wanted a really strong B section and I thought that this would be perfect for a number of ideas that, that Mark was working on as well. So I knew that there would be a B section in his, in his uh, box of tricks that would complement this track. And so, yeah, he nailed it. And um, I put a melody to that and was really, really happy with it at the end of the day. Um, and it's, it's written from the perspective of, uh, you know, a charismatic figure or it could be a poison idea, uh, anything that's skillful in seducing people uh, and, and to do what they want or what they say. And I thought that was a very appropriate way to use that song, especially because the title actually came about first. Da, da, da. Sometimes when you're singing, I don't know, no, no, my silver tongue, I thought silver tongue, I thought, you know, what is that? And so that's where the narrative of that lyric came from. It's just that ability to, through your slick, slick words, your silver tongue, you're able to uh, manipulate people.